There's another marvellous day in the boatyard here. It's laid up some fiberglass, which you've seen. Sometimes you've got to improvise, guys. There's no fancy devices here. Washy style. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Replace this old cover that was on here. They're stainless steel and they're very uh, corroded. That could be 30 years old, who knows? But anyway, they're pretty much rubbish. What I've decided to do, pretty heavy glass I just found up the front of the boat. So I've just laid up about four sheets of this and epoxy that just with my west system i've rolled that out i've actually i've just used a bit of baking paper <laughs> wax so the organic stuff so you know usually that <laughs> organic stuff's not quite as good as the real stuff see how that goes let that dry obviously i'll use these as a bit of a rough template i'll cut them out i'll cut two circles it's nothing fancy just a little sand i'll put some epoxy on it put some uh any foul on, drill a few holes and call it done. So instead of having a plate on the boat that's going to look like that in a few years, it's just part of the boat now. Fiberglass inspection cover. That's my morning. Tried drilling up from the bottom, but it's actually too thick. I'm just going to drill through here now, and that'll be our hole for our sea chest. We've got a backing plate of G10 underneath. Backing plate, or a fairing block down the bottom, and uh, let's drill this out. a week until Christmas today and we had a little bit of snow here in the boatyard. <laughs> That's our three inch hole to our sea chest. New fairing block. I can paint that up now and that's ready to put our new uh, through hole in and connect it all up. There's another marvellous day in the boatyard here. It's laid up some fiberglass which you've seen. Okay, so we're going to use these. This is all I'm doing, cutting these two out of this. This is just fiberglass epoxy I've laid up here. I'm going to cut these out, or barrier coat, nanny fowl, and then call it done. How'd it work, darling? It worked really well. You know, I made marshmallows yesterday, or a couple of days ago, and the paper stuck to the marshmallows, but it works on here. So uh, that's the top side and the bottom side. Oh, it's super sweet. It's actually, it's like a sheet of glass. Of a, paper. Yeah, it worked a treat. Okay. So there we go, guys. So he's replacing. This is what it is. So they've actually turned out really sweet. Um, there's four layers of fiberglass here, um, just laid up with epoxy. Actually spot on. Pretty happy with that. And then we won't have a corrosion issue. No doubt, and we'll give them a little sand up and call that done. It's just been cut. I'm gonna sand all these edges up. I'll give it a barrier coat with this stuff, and it'll all be the same. Drill a couple of holes in there, and uh, we can fasten this on, so it'll look something like that once it's done. That just falls off. It's just uh, waxed baking paper. Top side was a little bit more sticky. Laminated myself. In exchange for the old rusty ones. Okay guys, so while I'm still at it, made the covers up for the centerboard pin. I have got a broken fairing block, which is just timber. It was the old fairing block for the Raymarine transducer, you can see the angle. So what I've done is a three inch hole saw on the G10 board, and then followed by the two inch, which is the transducer. And then I'm just gonna shape this down, pretty much mirror that shape. And then instead of having a piece of timber under the boat that's exposed and rotten and broken, we'll have a piece of solid G10 fiberglass. So that's the next task, guys.
whip this one out while we're playing around with the fiberglass. Sometimes you gotta improvise, guys. There's no fancy devices here. Bushy style. <laughs> PPE, fiberglass. I'm just gonna go have a play against the hole now and get that one exactly how I want it. I've just taken down one edge. That'll be the angle of the hole, as opposed to our broken timber one. Now have a nice fiberglass one. I'll just fine tune that and uh, show you when we glue it on. So here's the through hole. I'm gonna grind this down, ground out the outside. We're gonna fill this hole in. We only need one transducer. That was a paddle wheel. And over here was the transducer. So it's all gonna be in one now. There's actually old blocks down here. I'm gonna remove these, which I've just cracked off. I'm gonna sort of clean this whole section up and just re-glass the tops and everything and just tidy it all up. You can see there was a hole here, there was holes there, uh, super thick. I'm just gonna just sort of tidy it up. I epoxied this last night. Oh, okay, easier. <laughs> and uh, we just put a bit of masking tape on there so it wouldn't get stuck. That is, How's it, it looking is stuck up there? It is stuck. Time. Yeah, the masking tape stuck, but that's all right. That's just a, a glass hole. So I got a gl gr I can die grind that all up and clean it. It's very neat. Looks pretty cool. So that's a that's our G10 block, and I just fared that into the hull, sand all that up. There's our other one. It's quite big. I ground that right back out. It's actually only a little hole in the middle there. The new transducer has the temperature wheel and everything all in one. So we only need one hole and one less hole. What do you reckon? Yeah, the less holes the better. Oh, another day in paradise. Look at this place. Beautiful. Looks like you're in prison with the backdrop. Couple of things today. We're just gonna, there's a couple of patches we had. We've just moved the stands over here, so we're gonna do those. We're gonna do the sea chest. We've removed the transducer. So yeah, we're just gonna do a little tidy up and that'll be it. We're just waiting for valves as far as the bottom goes. It's a never ending bottom job, this. That was a patch we missed. And then this one though, had some water coming out of it, so. Opened it back up. Opened her up. Try it again. That's the only little bit that we've had seep, so overall, it's pretty good, I think. And he's also adding on to our strut. He's adding an anode on there as well, so. That is what's happening because we have had a little bit of electrolysis problem. This is what he's talking about with the stands. These are the stands they're holding our boat in place while we're on the hard stand. And when we painted, it was here. And now he's moved it over here so we can paint this part. And he filled a hole. There was a, another hole in there for the transducer. Now we've only got one. That was a timber backing that was all rotten and gross and he's replaced it with G10 and made it all nice and lovely. So yeah, he's just gonna mix up some epoxy barrier coat and do all this. So they're the cover plates for the centerboard. The bolt is behind there. So he's gonna paint those also with the epoxy primer. It has been blue skies here in Rocky Point for a very, very long time, but we actually got rain last night and it downpoured quite heavily. Um, it seems to be clearing out at the moment, but yeah, we did have a night of rain, which was very strange and we've found some new leaks. We've had a very little rain since we've owned this boat, but the kitchen has started pouring in with water or last night I woke up and there was water all through the kitchen. I was like, what? What's going on here? So I pulled apart and opened cupboards, pulled the ceiling down and I found the culprit. Let's go inside here and have a look. Uncovered it. This here is our, it's just solid glass. This is our backrest in the cockpit and there's the cockpit seat drain. So it goes from a fiberglass stem into a hose and then it goes to a through hole. Well, a skin fitting. And oh, that probably shouldn't just come off the wall like that. It is just shown its age and half of it's on the outside of the boat and half of it's on the inside. So luckily we do actually have a spare one. 
Perco three quarter inch plastic skin fitting and that's actually what drains our Don't cockpit it just drains onto our deck and um, yeah it's like a five minute job and 4200 out and uh, put this back on connect the pipe up and we'll call that done we've got a break in the weather I think that's it we may get some tonight should be fine so is that where all the water from the kitchen was going through? 90 percent of the water was here then because I'd removed the ceiling I did notice a couple little cracks on the deck real little ones and I didn't think much of them but the previous owner has decided that he would use some super long screws with the headliner and he screwed through to the deck leaving maybe I can feel little bulges where the actual screws have gone so I'm gonna have to have a look at that too but that's for another day that was only I just noticed the there was a little bit of dampness around one of the screw holes and that's what it was so alrighty I'll get to it get this changed out just in case we get rain they want to uh, flood our kitchen again. Can I grab your multi grips? Of course. Look at this new addition to. Uh... Oh, hang on, I'll get him his tool first. Hold on, I had to wait and it's getting cold again. <laughs> it's just below you. Anyway, look at this lovely addition to the inside door of the engine room. Now we are going to be able to find tools nice and easy. And it's on the inside of the door, out of the way, nice and compact. That was a job we did the other night. And all this is is like a shoe holder, a shoe um, organizer. So there you go. That's a simple idea. Anyone who has a door space in their boat, way to store tools. Do you like it, Captain? It's a bloody ripper guys. Organization on a boat is really hard. So there's certain little tools you need all the time, whether it's a hinge on a, you need to tighten up, you need a screwdriver, you just need to snip something or generally something to do or general maintenance work. There's that little selection of tools that you want to keep handy instead of packed away in all the little nooks and crannies and you don't know where they are when you need them. So it just helps organize you know, those couple little tools that you need all the time. And also a toolbox is a nightmare. Like finding little things like this wire brush or anything in the bottom of a big toolbox is a nightmare for me. It's like going in a woman's handbag. Oh, that's a bloody another story. You never go in a woman's handbag because you'd be surprised how much they fit in. All right, so this is the hole. This is the remaining little part of the, um, the fitting. And this is the other part. <laughs> So most of the plastic fittings that we have on the boat, the deck drains and all of the um, all of these that are in the deck or bubble are quite uh, brittle and some of them are broken. This is what it should look like. This is what we're replacing it with. So this one's a little, little tiny bit bigger. So let's gonna... Beautiful. It's a new old one. And are those little stars next to it? Is that the screws? I will show you in a minute. I'm just gonna say. Uh, well, only just a little. I thought I was gonna have to do heaps. Slowly just chipped away at the top of the gel coat, but that's a screw hole. With the end of the screw was just, just on the end there, just popping through the deck. So there's one there. There's one there. There's a. There's a couple. We've got a core under this. And if we let water ingress get into this core, we have a rotten deck. We don't want that. So we have to fix them. So that's a priority. When, not the, a lot. This when is, the sun comes out. It's just where there's been um, work done on this boat. And I suppose you would say it's a, an easy mistake on someone's behalf. The deck's maybe about, you know, it's over an inch thick, but he's obviously used maybe inch and a quarter. Uh, screws and they're just just going through yeah mate the guy before us god rest his soul did not know what he was doing no he didn't <laughs> and we can see here you can see the aids they're all starting to crack so it's not the end of the world if these leak it pretty much just runs this is all solid fiberglass here around these so there's no even if it did leak it's not going to damage anything we have to replace these and 
the thing in doing up an old boat like that's a I don't know like a $20 fitting there it's easy to put a little bit of 4200 on a fitting and put it in but when you've got to redo things like this on a boat, they're usually behind things. In this case, this one's behind the kitchen. A literally a, a five minute job tends to be a whole day, if not longer, because of the access to get to these things. So, little heads up, if you're looking at a, a second hand boat, access to every little part is um, absolute key, especially when it's old and you know certain things are gonna have to be replaced. I'll get back to it. A little bit of the old 4200. Don't want to use that 52, it's always too hard to get off. If you want something permanent, you're never going to touch it. 5200, 4200 for the not so permanent, but permanent. All right, first of all, we're doing a dry fit just to make sure it fits and does up properly. Okay. Last thing you want to do is put all the goop on there and realize it doesn't fit. Did it fit? I assume that is a yes. Can't hear him. Probably wants the fitting. There's a lot of guesswork when you're working on a boat. Usually someone's going from one side to the other and you just really got to guess. I think it fits. I think it's going to work. Plopping it in, any instructions? Just plop it in, darling. Okay. I'm gonna plop it in. Mm, I can't hear you. It's a few days until Christmas. We're actually getting off the boat tomorrow and going and staying in an apartment on the beach here in Rocky Point. Some of our beautiful friends, Chuck and Deborah, have kindly let us stay in their apartment for a few days over Christmas. So we aren't gonna be in the boat yard for Christmas, which is gonna be a super nice little break for us. So thanks Chuck and Deborah. And yeah, one more day of fixing the boat and then we're gonna go to the apartment and relax. <laughs> 